hello everyone on my YouTube channel. Just doing a quick video as I'm going out to a vehicle that's gone off road into a farmer's field. There, no reason why he's gone into the field, but he's done something and he's uh, got stuck. So, just got the job to go out and bring him back onto hard standing ground in the Nissan Navara. However, as I am now 15 minutes away in 6.2 miles, my engine light has come on and the DPF warning light has also come on. Um, I've obviously plugged it in, tried to reset it on my scanner, not having it. Um, I don't obviously drive this vehicle lightly, I do give it a lot of stick. So why the DPF lights come on, I do not know. I've been trying to uh, abuse it a little bit to uh, burn it to try and reset itself, but uh, not having it. Currently in the middle of nowhere, so if it does lose power and I break down, I'm like, going to be waiting a long time here. Ah, there he is on the right hand side. Got him. Right. Ooh, bit of an incline. Looks like a straightforward pullback to be fair. Caution, road will be restricted access. Ah. Uh, to be fair, I might do it in one hit. Let's just come back a little bit. Should do. Right. Put some flashy lights on. Hiya. All right. I can imagine. If you want to just sit in it, I'll get my winch cable on that rear towing point and I should just be able to bring you backwards.
Right, if you just keep it straight and just see if it will reverse it there. Now, right, left hand all the way down. Right, no worries, that's fine. Let me just reattach on. Yeah, just keep it at that just for a minute. I've sort my clutch out on this. Oh dear. <coughs> Then straighten up a little bit. That's it. Then left hand all the way down. And just feather your brake a little bit. Right, and just put your handbrake on. I'm just going to release the winch off and then see if we can just get you to drive all the way right and down forward in a second. Right, right hand all the way down and just see if it will come forward. That's it. No worries, that's fine. Right, no problem. If you stick it left hand all the way down, because we've still got a bit to play with here. We've got about four foot, if you just see if it will reverse back. <coughs> keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Right, that'll do. Now lock it all the way to the right, and just see if it'll go forward. No, that's fine, no problem. Handbrake on, and I'll winch it out of this gap. No job's ever the same, eh? It's just the vehicle fighting a little bit with the grass. As we get ourselves backed up to about here, and that should pull that out and over. Right, if you put your handbrake on and steer it all the way left hand down yeah. and this should pull the bum a little bit over to me okay if just see if it'll reverse a little bit left hand down keep coming that'll do yeah I'll just take the winch off and you can reverse yourself out. Okay, so quick summary of the job. 
Um, obviously the service was required to just bring it back onto hard standing grounds, so that's what's been done. Um, obviously just once I let that vehicle pass through in that, I just uh, told him to just check the clutch, make sure it's had a good bite point, and just to wash his wheels off in a couple of puddles and be steady on the brakes. Um, and that's it, so yeah, all went well, can't really complain. A uh, couple of different angle techniques, as you may have saw on the video, as the vehicle started throwing itself a little bit more towards the brick wall. Um, but yeah, a couple of tweaks and adjustments, and job was a good one. Uh, now it's time to try and fix the DPF and the engine management light when I get back. Fingers crossed we get back in one piece. Update, I've just pulled over and I've got to a safe place where I wouldn't mind breaking down, not that I do. And it has reset itself. So yeah, happy days. And we have full power again. So I don't know what that little uh, paddy was for, but yeah, we're all good. We're all good. <laughs>